What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, when it comes to watchOS 8 point updates, we now have the next point update and it's one that is rather confusing because we just had an update that was watchOS 8.1 like two days ago and today we got watchOS 8.3 beta 1. This is available to developer beta testers so I'm able to update to it today because I have the developer beta and as you can see for me on my Apple watch series 7 it came in at exactly 302 megabytes and i was updating from watch os 8.1 the official release now obviously this is not all that apple released today you can see the De apple developer page and you can see that today apple released ios 15.2 beta 1 as well as ipad os 15.2 beta 1 watch os 8.3 beta 1 and also tvOS 15.2 beta 1. Now, this is my Apple Watch Series 7 on the left hand side that you're seeing here and I've already updated to it and let's go ahead and see the software changes that came with this update. So if we go to the about this watch section, you can see the new build number that we have and it's 19S50. 26e so this build number now has an e at the end and in terms of stability this is an update that i would really try and stay away now in terms of what's new or what's changed when it comes to watchOS 8.3 beta 1 there's one particular change that actually came to this update that i want to show you that has to do with privacy so on your apple watch if you go into settings and go to privacy and scroll down until you see the last option that you have you can see that there's a new option on watchOS 8.3 beta 1 and this is actually on watchOS 8.1 the official release and this is the series 6 so you can see that here on watchOS 8.1 Point one, we have record app activity, but on watchOS 8.3 beta 1, we have app privacy report. And you can see here that if we click where it says app privacy report, you can see that app privacy report shows how often apps use the permission you've granted to access your data like your location and your microphone and if we click where it says turn on app privacy report you can see that this is turned on and basically this is uh, how it looks so basically once you've turned it on you can always come back and turn it off and basically that's a new menu that came uh, on watchOS 8.3 so that is the only change that I noticed that isn't here on watchOS 8.1 I'm not sure whether we're going to get like a better breakdown of the app privacy once you know we get the report from the apps that are collecting the information so maybe after two or three days we'll be able to tell whether there's anything that has been collected when it comes to this app privacy so it's good to see that when it comes to privacy Apple is working even with watchOS 8.3 and also there's a fix that came with this update when it comes to the app store so if you use the, your Apple watch to do purchases and you have like auto subscriptions that you were having issues with when it comes to watchOS 8.1 the release notes of this watchOS 8.2 three actually mentioned that that has been resolved and you can see that when you open up your app store for the first time on the apple watch you get to see what's new and there's this splash screen that's here with watchOS 8.3 beta 1 and it basically says uh what's new on the app store discover curated watch faces learn more and developers and so on just the usual nothing major in terms of wording and if we click where it says continue you'll be able to see that you know it brings us back to the app store that we are used to so those are the changes that came with watchOS 8.3 in terms of battery performance so i've been using this for about uh, four or five hours now and if we go to the battery here you can see that it was last charged at 12 and right now it's almost you know it's like 440 so i've been using it for about four hours 40 minutes and you can see that in about four hours 40 minutes i've managed to lose like 14 percent which is not so great considering that this is the apple watch series 7 and this is a brand new apple watch literally like two weeks old and if we go to the battery health right there you can see that 
it's on 100 percent but other than that that's you know my battery performance if there is major drain or issues that are there with this update i will let you know in the comment section below you can see i can uh, you know switch my apple watch quite seamlessly and it's updating like it's supposed to the only issue i notice on this watch selector if we go to new you'll notice that my watch faces take some time to show so that is a bug that i've been experiencing throughout the four hours i've been using this update but you know it doesn't prevent me from selecting any watch face that i want and you can see this memoji watch face once you select it for the first time it also has a delay which is there and that's not too good but nothing major that's going to crash or you know reboot your device and typically with the apple watch series 7 i'll be very hesitant to go on the beta because it doesn't have the diagnostic port that is usually underneath here on the apple watch series 6 or older so once you go on a beta and you break your apple watch the only way you can recover your information is now through a 60.5 gigahertz data transfer wireless um, dock that apple uses to recover your device so most likely the only way out is if you take your device back to apple so i wouldn't really advise you update to this unless you're willing you know to re reset your device or anything like that now other than that as you can see there isn't a lot that came with this watch os 8.3 beta 1 if i do find anything major that you might need to know or that might require our attention then i'll let you know and other than that stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video peace